Students whose dreams in life include career advancement, expert knowledge in their discipline, as well as making major contributions to their field, should consider the McNair Scholars Program to prepare for graduate school. The McNair Post Baccalaureate Achievement Program is named in honor of Dr. Ronald E. McNair, who died in the 1986 Challenger tragedy. Selected out of 10,000 applicants for the NASA Mission Specialist Training Program, Dr. McNair serves as an exemplary role model for students who have overcome obstacles to obtain an education. McNair received a doctorate in physics in 1976 from the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology and became an expert in laser physics. Today there are over 179 McNair programs nationwide, providing services and guidance to help students prepare for and pursue graduate degrees. One of the first schools chosen to have a McNair program, MU allows students to become involved early through the Scholar Prep program that provides students with information about the benefits of graduate education and exposes them to the idea of research. The Ronald E. McNair post Baccalaureate Achievement Program is one of the federal TRIO programs administered by the U.S. Department of Education that serves students whose parents have not completed bachelor's degrees. Scholars may also be from groups underrepresented in graduate education, that is, African American, Native American, and Hispanic. McNair scholars who are juniors or seniors undertake research and benefit from the unique opportunity the program provides. The experience nurtures their doctoral ambition and cultivates discipline-related skills that will see them through difficult doctoral work. Scholars spend at least 275 hours working on research or scholarly endeavors supervised by an MU faculty mentor. The McNair Scholars Program sets high standards of accomplishments for students. The strength of the McNair Program is that it reaches a number of MU students who haven't considered going to grad school. Here at MU, there are a lot of students who, for a variety of reasons, think all they can do with their undergrad degree is get a job or apply to medical school or law school or another professional school. But what the McNair program does is it gives these students an opportunity to spend a year working with a faculty mentor, to work on a research project, and to present the results of that research. Also, McNair gives them the opportunity to learn the skills they'll need to successfully compete for graduate school. The McNair Scholars Program gave me a strong support base to reach the next level of my education. When you have several people who are very insistent that you can achieve something, it's very hard not to see in yourself what they see in you. They gave me the motivation and the extra push I needed to pursue an advanced degree. And the knowledge and skills that I built as a McNair Scholar made me a more remarkable candidate to graduate schools. With the help of my mentor, my passion for research was sparked. I realized that research is more than just a book report, but rather true academic research had more to do with creating knowledge rather than just reviewing it. When you first start research, it seems that the work is impossible sometimes because the goal is not to just study prior subjects, but also to add on to this knowledge base. This was quite a departure from what I was accustomed to during my undergraduate career, and this is where my mentor was invaluable. His knowledge and experience helped me get past the sometimes difficult and stagnant parts of research. When I started graduate school, I knew what was expected from me. I had already developed the research skills and had confidence in what I was doing. The McNair Scholars Program essentially gave me a head start to my graduate school career. At the conclusion of their research, McNair Scholars present the results at the McNair Scholars Conference. Students make oral presentations in addition to research posters. Some of the papers are included in the MU McNair Journal. The work has also been included in leading academic conferences such as the American Psychological Association and the American College of Medical Genetics. In the science field, conducting and publishing research helps to establish careers, and my research in MU McNair Journal publication was no exception. During my graduate school interviews, I was able to share my McNair article and discuss my undergraduate research and tell of its importance and significance with confidence. In fact, one of the admission committee members that I interviewed with expressed that they were impressed with my research article and believed I was ready for graduate study. Without the guidance, knowledge, and experience of the McNair staff, I would not have gotten the experience necessary for graduate study. Upon the completion of my McNair research, I was able to publish it in a well-respected peer-reviewed academic journal, contributing valuable information in my field. Having this publication has also made me a more marketable candidate. I'm able to send my article along with my graduate application to potential graduate schools. My research background and publication shows the graduate admissions committees that I have the knowledge and experience that they're looking for.
Yeah, I think the most amazing thing about the McNair Scholars Program is the mentorship that it offers these undergraduate scholars. I know that as a mentor, I feel very committed to the scholar I'm working with, and I really want to see them grow, I want to see them learn and challenge them and, um, and succeed. And so I really commit my time and energy to um, help them do that. And I think that's especially useful and important, hard to come by in large universities, where it can be easy to get lost and can be hard to find that kind of close mentoring relationship. I thought I already had a strong relationship with my mentor, but the McNair Scholars Program allowed me to take this relationship to a different level. I was no longer interacting with him just in my research, but rather going to him for his guidance on writing papers and making a poster. Now I'm using his knowledge and assistance in deciding on my future career plans. Not only that, but because of this strong bond between us, he is able to write a letter of recommendation about me as a person and not only a student. My relationship with my mentor grew with the help of the program and continues to grow due to our joint experience with the McNair Scholars Program. The workshops were extremely informative. They provided me with a one-stop location to get information I would otherwise have to venture all over campus to find, assuming of course I knew where to look. The workshops connected me with experts in the field that I didn't even know existed. My favorite workshop was on writing the statement of purpose. I knew the importance of this essay based on the earlier McNair workshops, but I was nervous and just altogether apprehensive about writing it on my own. I didn't know what to say or what voice to write it in or even how much to say, but this workshop answered those very questions for me. It allowed me to get feedback from my peers and a professor in the department where I was applying, someone much like the person who may read it when I apply for graduate school. The workshops were like getting the inside scoop and put me ahead of my peers. Scholars also attend workshops on being accepted to a graduate program and receive preparation for the graduate record exam. Even though most graduate applications are online, the process can be very tedious and instructions can be misleading and hard to understand. The McNair Scholars Program Senior Retreat was designed to help scholars successfully maneuver through this process. The retreat gave me the opportunity to complete my applications in a helpful and encouraging environment and provide answers to the questions that I had in regards to the procedures of applying to graduate school. The graduate record exam preparation course administered by the McNair Scholars Program ensured that I was prepared for the actual GRE test. It taught me how to study and calm my nerves for the actual exam. The skilled instructors made sure I knew what I needed to study and let me concentrate on improving on areas where I needed work. And when I actually took the test, I felt more confident and at ease. I know that without the McNair Scholars Program's guidance, my scores would have definitely suffered. The workshops also focused on making sure that once I'm accepted to graduate school, I'll be able to complete it in a successful manner. Additionally, they taught me different ways of concisely presenting my research. I know that without the McNair Scholars workshops, I would not be as serious and prepared for my post-baccalaureate study as I am now. The teaching assistantship class through McNair was quite beneficial for me. Not only do they give you good skills for teaching, such as how to run a class, and how to be prepared and organized, but they also teach you how to be a good teacher. They help build your confidence and teach you that the qualities that are innate within you are good for teaching. By the time I got to that first class, I was more than prepared. Networking is most effective long before you begin to search for new opportunities. This is one of the main reasons why the McNair program is so effective. McNair scholars get the opportunity to work with faculty through research, scholarship, and other informal activities. This ultimately leads to broader networks across the country, enhanced relationships with campus dignitaries, and an enriched educational experience. And then in terms of networking, um, I think that is uh, possible and happens both at a peer, near peer level and also with experts in the field. So in terms of kind of peer, near peer, uh, my scholar stayed with some graduate students and she was able to um, get a sense, better sense of what to expect in grad school from these students. She got to talk about her research with them, heard about their research ideas, and possibly made some contacts that she's going to maintain you know, during her graduate career and beyond. And then in terms of kind of experts in the field, um, after hearing an expert's talk, you can go up to them and you can tell them about how their research has informed your own McNair project. You can ask them questions um, and you can develop contacts that way that also are very unusual and extremely valuable for undergrads and graduate students. Attending a conference with my mentor was a unique and rewarding experience. At first, I was confused and overwhelmed with all the various events going on. 
Then my mentor reassured me and helped me decide which presentations would be best to attend. He also introduced me to his colleagues and various graduate students in attendance. Attending the conference reinvigorated my passion for the field and reinforced my desire for graduate study. Now I'm more in touch with faculty members than before, which has been a great help in my graduate applications. McNair Scholars are not only dedicated to their own research projects, but also provide assistance to fellow scholars and lean on one another for support. The McNair Scholars program has been very successful in placing its students in graduate schools. Students have attended some of the nation's most prestigious universities, such as North Carolina, Johns Hopkins, Georgetown, University of Chicago, Berkeley, and MU. Dr. Ronald E. McNair believed that all students should have the means to further their education, and the McNair Scholars Program helps take students' dreams and make them into reality. To discover the increased advantages a graduate degree provides, contact the McNair Scholars Program. about that one. 
thinking of the faculty member. And then in December, we're going to have a, a panel of faculty talk about what it's like to become a faculty member. So they're going to focus on like uh, why did they chose to become a faculty member and what it looks like now for them and kind of how they, they balance being a faculty member with their own personal lives. And then when we come back in the break of January, um, I was talking about how we first have access to the information before anyone. So that first Thursday, right when we come back, there's an information about the McNair Scholars Program. And that will allow us to work with sophomores and juniors who have to be either junior or senior to participate in the program. And then in February, uh, we have, we're going to have a presentation that talks about how to approach faculty member. So by the end of the spring semester, uh, we'll expect all of you to actually approach either staff or faculty member in your designated field. So then we'll have this Friday in February so you can kind of have um, some insights and ideas about how to start approaching them to find mentorship and to start networking with professors. And then in uh, March, we have a panel of, um, fac uh, not faculty, but people who have PhDs but who work in the community. So uh, you have access right now to a lot of people who are faculty, all of them are PhD faculty, but we also want to kind of expose you to what it looks like to have a PhD but not work in academia. Um, so I think last year we had a psychologist, someone who um, had a background in, oh, who was a principal who had a PhD education, and we even had one who was a PhD in English, but she actually works like a, for like the government now, so kind of how different people have done different things with their degree. And then in April we're going to have a workshop on financial planning, so kind of see where you're all in terms of financial literacy and you have some skills early on, kind of like budget your money throughout your and then in April, it should be Tuesday, April 21st, there's an undergraduate research forum. So that opens a really good opportunity for you to go out and do what kind of research undergraduates are already um, conducting. So you go, it's not a Tuesday from roughly from like um, the morning to the afternoon, so you can kind of go on your own time and kind of check out the posters and the positions that are going on. And we kind of give you like a form to kind of fill out the things to look for, questions to ask. You can kind of get an idea of what type of research you're able to do at this level. And then by the end of the semester, like I mentioned, um, the individual meetings are due, so that would we'll send out more information and then we'll have a workshop that kind of guides you as to how you should approach faculty members or something to talk about that to them about so you can kind of start getting connections in your own fields. And then in, um, and in May we have like a final wrap-up. Um, last year we had like pizza and we just kind of like uh, all it was a kind of a goodbye and celebrating that we're done with the year. And any more additional comments? Okay. Well, I think, um, yeah, so then that's all.